Hey there everyone, Pedro Bautista here for Pedro Bautista Photography and or Elva Photography as I'm starting to adapt that name a bit more now. Um here to make another, you know, in-depth editing video slash tutorial, I guess you could call it, as I'm, I might be showing some of those things, some little tips and tricks, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and today I have a somewhat special treat for you guys. Um, I used to teach uh, line back in high school I used to go to, which was West Adams Preparatory High School um, in Los Angeles, California, and uh, they had their, you know, final championship competition uh, this last Friday on the 8th of December and I set myself out to photograph them but you know it wasn't just pictures I wanted to create somewhat of a photo story out of the entire day and you know I I think I accomplished that I took a bunch of photos I mean I didn't just take pictures of them I ended up taking pictures of you know different bands that were performing there and um just a photo story I came up with about 50 photos um, I guess that was the max that I wanted to go with and I'm glad that that's where I, I stayed at and um, I'm gonna just show you um, that two shots that I'm gonna edit maybe I'll throw in three depending on the time but I want to do two for sure just to show you guys different results um, let's start off with the first one let's choose one which one would be interesting there you go, this one. This is really, really, really cool. Well, to me, I should say. Um, okay, so in the school they competed in East LA Community College, um, they have this tunnel entrance, um, and then that's where all the bands were entering and exiting from. And this is what you're seeing. This is uh, the West Adams band. You see, uh, we have the drum major here, uh, Kevin, and you have the band, uh, the second drum major, Carla, you just have the van coming down and it's it's really impacting it's really powerful um i took this with a tokina 11 to 16 millimeter f 2.8 and i shot this at iso 200 at 800th of a second um i didn't want to go too fast but i didn't want to go to 100 iso because then you know i would have been at about four or five hundred uh shutter speed one one four hundredth or five hundredth of a second and i didn't want to go that slow so this is where I'm at. Um, it's pretty solid as it is right now. Um, it's really great though, as you can see. Well, there's not much detail left up here, but um, it was it was pretty, you know, it was an overcast day, and so it was a lot, you know. The skies were just not colorful, and that reflects on you know the setting. The only thing that's colorful here is is their jackets, their coats that are you know a nice vibrant blue, but you know we want to punch some of that in there. And because I see that it's not the you know the brightest thing, the most vibrant thing, and since it seems like it's uh, it could be a very powerful shot, what I want to do is turn this into a black and white image. That's exactly what's gonna happen. So easy thing, quick thing, just click the black and white button, and you're good to go. Now, right after I click the black and white button, just like I did in the last video that I showed you guys, right, I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna change it to camera standard on the color camera calibration just because that's exactly what I shot it at. Now as you can see I'm properly exposed for everything but like the, the darker areas. And that's a mistake on my fault. I should have been at about maybe I could have been at about uh I don't know. I could have done five hundredth of a second honestly at two hundred ISO. But it's done. Good thing we shot in raw. So I can come back into Lightroom and I can you know I can make the necessary changes um so you know first things first um we can see the before and after image now you can see their their skin tones everyone's skin tone is is a nice rich orange that's that's what all their skin tones are right so what we're gonna do to bring their skin tones up uh because it's a black and white we're just gonna slide this bar up a bit all right just until we can get some detail in their faces Right, and then you're starting to see his face, his face, you're starting, to, it's all starting to come out, and that's cool. Now, we talked about how I was a bit underexposed, and I'm going to fix that now by, you know, sliding up this by a tiny, tiny bit. I don't want to go too far because I still want to retain all that, and you see that, you saw that tiny little slide was just enough to get me to where I wanted to. So that's one stop, two stops. 
I have enough to get me where I want to. Now, it being, you know, black and white, I want to really make this pop, really make this come out. I mean, that's, you know, that's what I love in black and white. And like I did in the last video, the street photography one, I'm going to punch this up to 100 and see where it takes me. Now, it's really intense. You saw how intense it got when you go to zero. It's really gray, really bland. But, you know, you pump it to 100, you know, everything really, really starts to stand out. And I'm not sure I exactly want to do that. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to bring this down a tiny bit just so it's not too intense. I'm going to bring my clarity up just a bit. I uh, don't want to overdo things here because it's, you know, starting to look nice. Now, like I mentioned before, I, I didn't really exposed for the shadows I exposed according to what the camera was telling me and I guess it was wrong sometimes cameras do that it's not you know it's just the fault and so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to bring my shadows up just to bring some of that detail back in All right so you can see how much more of a difference that makes if I'm at zero right everything's dark in these areas right his jacket all of this is dark now I bring the shadows up and little by little some of that detail is brought back in. Now to punch it back down to make it boom, I'm gonna bring my black levels down. Not too much, just enough to compensate for the shadows I brought up. Now highlights, um, what do I want to be on those? Well, I definitely don't want to bring them down. Um, of course, you can see this little area here it maintains the detail um, when I take it all all the way down, but I'm just not all about that so um, I th I'm gonna right there and that's pretty good um, I think I'm done with uh, these these levels uh, I'm gonna come down I'm um, already touched the orange like I showed you guys just to bring up the skin tones and that was good enough now the sharpening of course again I'm gonna mask it just like you guys saw in the last video right everything sharpened here slide it down and only the edges start getting sharpened. All right, okay. Noise reduction, I, I don't want to touch. I really don't touch it at all, even if I'm shooting at, at uh, higher ISOs. And I'm not going to do it this time. I was shooting at 200 ISO, and I didn't really touch much of the exposure. So there's gonna, there's not going to be much of any noise happening. Um, you can see it here. There's nothing really going on. It's it's good. Um, Now, profile corrections. I told you guys I'm shooting with a Tokina 11 to 16 f 2.8, and this gets really wide at at 11 millimeters. It's really really wide. I'm shooting on a crop body, but even on a crop body, 11 millimeters is still really really wide. And you can see the big difference that uh, the corner beginning, right? So it's off, and then you have these uh, these corners. They're really dark. They vignette at 11 millimeters. So as soon as I turn this on. They straighten out a tiny bit, not too much, just to you know keep the image the way it is, and it gets rid of the vignetting. Now that's really harsh vignetting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in, just because you know I like the way that vignetting look. So I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to vignette this just you know, just to give it some uh, some punch to it. I don't want to make it too harsh because then that doesn't really look the best. Now you see how it's um spread out more instead of being in one little corner right in the um the vignetting now it's spread out a bit more of course the highlights you know this is really white so i don't it's it doesn't really matter to me that there is no vignetting here and that's good actually and you can see it goes all around the image um but since i put up the feathering you can see the exact outline of the vignetting but since i came up on the feathering um it fades out a bit more and that's what i want so that should be good on that. Um, so we're done with this image. Uh, it's pretty. It's good to me. You know, um, it's a good image. The editing. You know, I did what I wanted to. It's it's good enough for me, and I'm gonna keep it like this. Now for the second image, let's see what I can show you guys. Um, I don't want to just you know, give you guys a boring image to uh to edit. So I'm trying to find something interesting. I'm going to show you guys something with, uh, let me see. Hmm. Can't seem to find much. It's all pretty much, you know, just standard stuff with the band. 
Um, oh, hey, you know what? Let me go with this one. Okay, so uh, this is after the awards happened for the division that uh, West Adams was in. Um, they ended up getting second place, which is pretty good. You know, they're a second year competing band. I, I keep on repeating this to everyone, but, you know, I'm just, it's just a pretty big thing for, for them. And this was um, after, you know, the entire band uh, got together, um, received a speech from the band director, and this is what was going on. Um, <clears throat> here you can see, you know, the the students here, you can see a pair of hands here. It looks like they're about to clap, or if they're not clapping, uh, you can see the someone's band uniform here. I don't, I don't see any reason why anyone else would be wearing blue like that. So, I'm going to go here now. I showed you guys a black and white image, and I haven't, you know, in videos I haven't shown you guys uh, color edits. So, that's what, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to, first things first you know since I'm not pushing that black and white button straight into camera standard All right you can see how much uh, less vibrant things look All right reds are redder and then boom but you know that's okay I'm, I don't really mind that now once again before I do anything um, like I mentioned before orange skin tones right orange skin tones what I'm gonna want to do is uh, the saturation on that All right just to level things out because you can see the red and behind him is not all too vibrant and I don't want his face to be all too vibrant so I'm just gonna level that out a bit um, I'm sorry I forgot to give you guys the specs on this this was shot at f3.2 on a uh, 7200 f2.8 LIS version 2 USM uh, this is uh, one of Canon's best lenses in my opinion and in many others opinions and I can't you know, I can't argue with them. I love the lens. It's great. Um, so, F3.2 ISO 100. And I broke a rule here. At, I was at 125th of a second. I broke the rule, to, you know, to go um, that slow. But, I mean, IS was on. I wasn't really worrying about um, the shutter being slow. I could have been at, uh, let's say, 400 ISO and uh, 800th of a second. But, you know... This was quick. This was a candid shot. I didn't plan this out. So I just put up my camera. I mean, pointed the lens at him, at the drum major, and boom. Um, that's what happened. So back into the editing. I changed the levels, right? Bring the contrast up a bit just because at zero it looks really boring. Um, but at 100, it seems a bit too... It seems like there's too much punch in it. Um, too much for me. Um, so I'm going to leave it 46 looks about right um, bring up the clarity just to bring in some little you know details into it uh, I'm gonna want to raise my black levels in here actually you know um, you can raise them and make them darker but once again too much contrast for me is not the best thing so I want to just bring up the black levels you know make things noticeable and nice same thing with shadows gonna bring those up now, to compensate for bringing up the shadows and the black levels, what I'm going to do is the curve, right? The tone curves. I'm going to come down here and make a medium contrast just to darken things up. And that's it. Um, let's see what I can do with this temperature because I'm, I'm not liking the temperature. I'll, oh, wait. You know, it's not my favorite. It looks better. Uh, I made it a bit colder. It looks a bit better to me. Um, once again... Alright, sharpening, masking, profile, right, like I said, Canon EOS 7200. Um, I'm going to want to move around, you know, the different hues, the primary colors. Um, this is experimental, I don't, I don't really do this, so you guys are seeing an experiment happen before you. Um, so let's see what I do. I'm not sure what exactly what's going to happen. Okay, that looks good. You see how the blacks, the black on his, on his uniform is turning blue, right? No, no, I don't mind that. I'm actually sort of liking that look. Uh, let me move the reds a bit. Okay, now his face is turning red. It's not exactly red. That's, that's actually, I actually like that. I'm going to have to move the, the saturation of the yellow just to, you know, make compensate for his face, but... I like where this is headed. 
Okay. That is good to me. Um, good enough of a shot for me. And yeah, um, the other came out pretty good. Um, I like it. You know, nothing's too black. It has some color into it. Uh, there's kick into it. And yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out um, Caesar's first episode of Behind the Scenes and the Making of his new mixtape titled Paper Cuts, be sure to check that out. Um, I'll have a link in the description to that. Check out the photography page. I'll be posting these pictures up. Um, I'm pretty sure that this video is going to go up before the photos. So, you know, be patient on the link to the actual images, to all the edited images. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to rate it, comment if you have a question. Like I said before, you can message me on my photography page. Um, I answer quicker on there. Share this with your friends. Maybe they can get something out of it. Um, and, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys um, whenever I make another video. Peace.